I've been working on the body. I've put filler across here and I've been uh, sanding it down. It's not quite right yet, but uh, I don't want to do any more on this area. I've messed around with this a lot and I find that the best way to make sure it's all aligned is to have power to it. Ugh. Now I've got a power supply so for me it's quite easy to attach power. If you don't it can be done without power but it really does help you line everything up. If you don't have a power supply I suggest you rig up a battery system that you can just hook onto the wires when you're ready. So I've got a hot glue gun ready to use and the way this goes in is very simply LEDs all at the front. This piece actually has an angled flat edge here for that board to sit in. All you've got to do is to make sure that all your LEDs on the scanning array here are visible and without any movement hold the board and give it a tack with some hot glue. Just a tiny little tack so it can still be moved. Push the wires through the hole and then very carefully position the body over the board. Now I'm using my two fingers on the back of the board to give it some support. So what I'll do now is wire it up and switch on. It's hard for you to see. I think it's slightly off centre, so I've got to move the board over. That's better. That's much better. There we go. Hold that down there. Take the power off. Make room somewhere so I can just put a bit of tiny bit of hot glue there. Tiny bit of hot glue there just to hold it in place. Now, of course, what I haven't done yet is glue this, so I'm gonna open it up and apply some glue. Right, so I'm just checking all the lights for alignment. They look okay. What's interesting is that these red ones, if you have them spot on, then the green ones are slightly off. So I've opted to have the green ones spot on and the red ones slightly off. Uh, just showing you this array here, it's not sticking out very much but it doesn't need to because once it's got the diffuser stuck on, if I turn the lights out, you can see that it diffuses the blue colour very well right across. I'll cover that up, you see it better. It can be done without power to the board, but I really do strongly recommend you rig up something, battery pack, just so you can test the positioning of the board before you do absolutely anything. Just to make sure that the uh, everything lines up nicely. So 
So I've now applied super glue all around the inside of this. And I have to be honest, I've made a bit of a mess of it. I've got super glue fingerprints on the spotty and on the top here. But it's okay because this will all be sanded down. Because I've got to put filler in all around this seam. And that's what I'll be doing next. Just give the super glue a bit of time to dry. This board has to go in first. And then after this, the main board will slot in the top. Um, I'm happy where it is, so I'm going to put more hot glue across the board here, making sure there's no movement. At the same time, leaving this flat piece here because the board will go over onto that piece. So you want to keep that clear. Don't worry about strands of hot glue that come over, you can always pick them off. So I will be putting hot glue across here, but not until this other board is in place. Because I don't want to, to have glue here that I have to cut away. Okay, that's pretty solid in place there. Now this is where it can get a bit messy. Leave it, let it set, let it dry, and as you sand it down, you might have to put one or two more coats on. See, this one's got a nick here, I'll have to put something on there and sand it down again. But you do this bit right when you put your undercoat and spray paint on, it's going to look good.